Hey, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in this video I'm going to tell you loads of interesting things about something I used to have a lot more of. Brown hairs. <laughs> brown hairs are also known as European hares and are widespread across Europe and some parts of Asia. Surprisingly, despite how widespread they are in Britain, they are not a native species and were introduced at some point during the Iron Age. Since then, they have also been introduced to other countries, including Northern Ireland and Australia in the 19th century. Brown hares are much larger than rabbits, with long, pointed ears that have noticeable black tips to them. They have long, powerful legs and a short tail that is white underneath and black on top. Hares are found in a variety of lowland habitats, but are most numerous around open farmland, meadows and along deciduous woodland edges. Unlike rabbits, hares do not dig burrows, but instead create a depression in the ground where they spend most of the daylight hours. This is known as a form, and without the protection of a burrow can make the hares very vulnerable. To combat this, hares remain very still and silent, hoping to go unnoticed, but if they feel any threat is too great, they can run really fast. In fact, they are the fastest land mammal in the UK and the ninth fastest on the planet. For short periods, they can reach peak speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. Hares are most active after dark and in the early morning and late evening when they venture away from their forms in search of food. This includes grains, grasses, cereals and sometimes they will strip the bark and vegetation from low hanging branches. These foods are difficult to digest and if you've seen my video about European rabbits you might be familiar with the term coprophagy. This is where an animal eats its own feces in order to re-digest it and hares are a part of this poo-eating club. One of the hares most famous traits is their tendency to stand on their back legs and box one another. Male hares are called bucks and initially people thought this fighting was between them in the attempt to win the right to mate, but it's most often between a female which is known as a doe and a buck that is being too persistent. Throughout the spring and summer, the bucks will trail the does around, hoping they'll be willing to mate. Once she has mated, the doe is pregnant for 41 to 42 days before giving birth to between two and four young, which are known as leverets. These are born with a full coat of fur and with their eyes open. The mother leaves them in a form close to where they are born and only returns once a night to feed them. This avoids attracting any predators, as when the leverets are young, they are easy prey. Over time, the leverets start to venture further from their forms, and after around four weeks, their mother stops returning to feed them, and they are left to fend for themselves. Although this lack of parental care may be a bit surprising from a mammal, it does allow each doe to breed multiple times in a season, sometimes producing as many four litters between February and September. The biggest predators of young hares is red foxes, but aside from hunting by people and idiots with dogs, adult hares in the UK are pretty safe. Because of this, their population has stayed steady over the past 25 years, and there are somewhere in the region of 580,000 hares in the United Kingdom. Their average lifespan is three to four years, but on rare occasions, they can live much longer. The oldest on record, making it to 12 and a half years of age. Well, there we go. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, check out one of these other two British wildlife videos and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.